Hello guys, hope you all are well. So today we are going to study one of the most important topic of Tableau Desktop Specialization exam that is understanding data pane. Today's topic can also be referred as blue versus green, discrete versus continuous and dimension versus Myers. So before going further, kindly subscribe to UNT channel. So as we can connect our data in Tableau and when we reach to the visualization panel, all the columns of the data would be shown at the left side, which I have also shown in my previous video. The link for it is also shown at the top right corner in this video with I button. All the attributes in data visualization panel are called as fields. Kindly mention in the comment section below the name for this pane where attributes are shown in visualization panel. I repeat my question again. Kindly mention in the comment section below the name for this pane where attributes are shown in visualization panel. Further, for these fields that are shown here in this panel, the most important point in Tableau is that all these fields in data visualization panel will be divided among two sections named as dimensions and Myers, where dimensions are the attributes that are qualitative in nature and hence would help in detailing the data, whereas Myers are the attributes that are quantitative in nature and hence would help in aggregating the data. For reminding the concepts of data type and types of data, kindly go to the link mentioned below in the description. Further, when fields or attributes are divided according to their qualitative and quantitative nature in dimensions and measures, then this division is known as data field roles. Moreover, when attributes are divided according to their color schemes, where blue defines discrete and green defines continuous, I repeat, blue used for discrete and green used for continuous, then this division is on the behalf of data types. So it means that the attributes are divided in two ways in data visualization panel, where one is according to the data field role and second is according to the data type. Hence, it means visualization using these attributes can be achieved using four combinations. You can see here we have discrete and continuous along with dimensions and measures. So if any discrete attribute is used as the dimensional role will be called as discrete dimension. If any discrete attribute is used as a role of measure, then it is called as discrete measure. Further, if any dimension is used as continuous field, then it is called as continuous dimension. And if any measure is assessed continuously, then it is called as continuous measure. So these are the example for each. Where you can see the category is showing you discrete dimension. Some sales in blue color is showing you discrete measure. Year order date in green color is showing you continuous dimension where you can also see that there is no aggregation on order date where year is only a function it is not an aggregation. Further we have some sales in green color which is a aggregation and it is in green color so hence it will be continuous measure. Now we can see that some of the fields are blue in color and some of them are green in color where blue defines the discrete and green defines the continuous. And similarly, we can see that some of the fields are showing under dimension with level of detail and the fields under measures are showing with aggregation. So here is a point to remember that in Tableau, blue refers to discrete fields and green refers to continuous field. So whenever user is working on any blue color field in Tableau, it would mean that user is working on 
discrete fields and similarly if user is working on green fields it means that user is working on continuous data this is very important according to certification point of view and never confuse the dimensions and measures with color as dimensions and measures are only working for detailing and aggregation of data as more number of dimensions when will be added in visualization it would be increasing the details only and when measures would be added in visualization it would only be doing aggregation it doesn't mean that dimension connects with blue and measures connect with green so if you are working with blue and green it means you are working with discrete and continuous but if you are working with dimension and measure you are working with detail and aggregation so this is the very important point according to examination point of view now you can see here that the red highlighted boxes and there are yellow highlighted boxes where the red highlighted boxes shows the fields that are most commonly used and yellow are the boxes that are less commonly used as most oftenly you would hear about discrete dimensions and continuous measure but less oftenly you would hear about discrete measures and continuous dimensions so we can see that these are the fields in data pane over which we are working in tableau but beside to these in tableau there are some fields that are not present in our data but that comes in data panel so as when we are going to the data panel again we can see that there are some fields like measure names latitude longitude number of record and measure values i repeat it again that there are some field named as measure names in dimension latitude longitude number of record and measure values in measures these are the fields that are automatically generated fields these fields were not present in the data set so these are the field that system generate by itself many times in tableau certification exam they ask a question that how many fields are automatically generated in tableau so now answer for it and mention that answer in comment section below so this was about the data panel the implementation and usage of every possible combination of field would be shown in next video till then revise all the concepts that are linked with this video and don't forget to like subscribe and comment Till then stay safe and take care